Yes, sir, baby. What's good, YouTube, bro? We back at it. So listen, right? This vlog right here, this is like extremely illegal, bro. I'm not supposed to be doing this, but basically, I'm finna show y'all like how we make donuts and just show y'all like what working at Krispy Kreme is like, bro. Like, so first off, you're gonna get a bucket, right? And this is like our yeast bucket, and we use it to like weigh up the scale. So right here in this big old trash can. Hold up, where the label? This is our yeast bucket right here. And this is what we're gonna use real quick. So after you fill it up with yeast, that's when you're gonna put the instant yeast in there. So next we're gonna use our water bucket. We're just gonna fill this up with some water real quick. Okay, so now that I got my dough and my water weighed up, I'm basically about to like just put it into the mixer and it's just gonna like blend it all up. Yes sir, yes sir, that's what that good dough pasta look like. These right here, these are donut cutters, and then this is how the donut's supposed to come out. All right, so we are always making like new collabs, like new donuts and all that stuff like that, right? We collabed with Reese's and we got like these like three new donuts and I'm finna just like try them out. So this is the first donut we got. This is basically like chocolate glazed ice. And then I guess that's like the caramel like dripping on the top. And you got like the little Reese's pieces. I'm gonna take one more bite. So overall, it's not bad. It's just chocolate ice, like that's not really like a flavor that does it for me. And I never really been like big into Reese's cause it got like peanut butter, which I'm not really a big fan of. So it's all right. If you don't like peanut butter, like don't even waste your time eating that. Cause like it kind of, it's kind of like an overflow. But if you like peanut butter, like go ahead and get that. I'll give it like a solid five out of 10 like it's just it's just mid like it's nothing like crazy all right so honestly bro i don't even want to try this next donut bro look at this yo this is crazy bro those are supposed to be potato chips but they look like french fries like i don't know who thought of that but that was like so weird bro supposedly it's supposed to be like a sweet and sour donut so it's like the sweet from the glaze and then you got like i guess the salt from the potato chips but Bro, I'm, I'm not even excited to eat this, bro. Dude, when I tell you that was the nastiest donut I ever ate in my life, like, who thought of that, bro? Like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, bro, should I work at Dunkin' Donuts now? Like, are you serious? It was like somebody just went to Wendy's, grabbed a handful of fries, and then just stuffed it on top of a donut. Like, like I, I barely tasted the salt. All I was tasting was potatoes. Potatoes and chocolate and cooked bread don't go together. Like, why do I even have to explain that? Y'all need to do better. Like whoever, whoever came up with that, like you need to take a seat, you need to stand, and you need to take several more seats. Cause whoa, bro, what is you doing? Come on, bro. All right, so this is the last new Reese's like type of donut that we have. This is like the shell like filling donut. I don't know what that is on the top. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it looks like some pretzel bites. It looked like it got some salt on there. So probably this is probably like another uh, sweet and sour. I mean, sweet and salt, what, whatever you call it, bro. Sweet and salty, I guess it's one of those type of donuts. Man, we're gonna see. This, this right here, it gotta be the savior, bro. 
It has to save the day. Cause that last donut, like, nah, bro. Like at this point, I honestly don't even want to eat donuts no more, bro. Cause is this how we come in? We need to do better. Like real talk. So the filling donut, it honestly wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit too sweet. Like way too sweet. Like I'm talking about like you eat a whole dozen of that, you get in type one diabetes, like straight up, bro. So other than that, it wasn't bad. I would have to give it like a solid six out of 10. So I think that was probably the best one. But honestly, if I was to choose like out all of all the three, like which one would I eat again? I would definitely get the Reese's piece, the one with the chocolate and the Reese's. That was the most normal one, bro. All the other ones, terrible concoction. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I'm like pretty bummed out right now. I just got off of work, but we got out way later than I expected, bro. Like, that's the thing. Like, we closed at 10, but like, we didn't get out until like 11, bro. And like, I'm outside of Walmart. These mugs gonna close at 11, bro. I'm just trying to buy some chicken, bro. Was I had a whole, I had this whole thing set up, bro. I was like, listen, I'm gonna vlog at work. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna smoke, and then after that, I'm gonna cook up some chicken and rice, right? But I got the rice, I got everything I need. I just don't got no chicken, bro. And like every grocery store out here is closed, so like it's too late, bro. So I got some donuts in my bag. So I'm finna just eat those when I get to the crib. All right, so I'm finna go to the smoke shop real quick. I just gotta cop some blunt wraps. All right, so I just left the smoke shop. And while I was in there, bro, like I came across these right here. These banana, it looks like hoe. It looks like banana hoe. I don't know what these are, but they some woods. It's some leaves. We're finna see what he's talking about. I paid like $6 for like a five pack of these, so they better be fire, bro. I'm gonna come back in here. You gonna hear from me on Yelp, sir. I don't know what to expect from these. Hopefully they're not dry. It smells fruity. They don't really smell like bananas. They smell like more like I don't know, it smell like a whole bunch of like fruit mixed up together. But this is what they looking like. They honestly don't look that bad. It look pretty smooth. Still got the big old veins like backwards. So but other than that, these feel pretty smooth. Finna see how it smoke. They taste like expired bubble gum. It's not bad. So sick and tired of the process of rolling, bruh. All right, this is what we smoking on. Hold up, let me trim it down some. All right, this is what we're looking at. Oh my God, I just saw, yo, and it's still more coming out, bro. Come on, dog. I'm telling y'all, bro, this thing better taste good or I want my money back, for real. Cause $6 for this is crazy. Hmm, I'm not really tasting anything. Let me take another hit. I don't know what it was, but like, this has like no banana flavor, like at all. Like, I'm not tasting it. Like, that's so weird. Like, it was like when I opened the pack, it smelled kind of fruity, similar to bananas, but not quite. And then it's like, when I was rolling it, as I'm licking it, like it tastes like kind of bananas, kind of giving that fruity flavor. And now as I smoke it, like I don't taste nothing, bro. Talking about with game leaves, wild berry, like um, any other like purple berry, like whatever it's called, like they had, greatest flavors like to all of their wraps bro but this right here like is lacking like it's not bad like it still hits smooth but like it's just lacking that flavor or that taste that i was expecting to get out of this but yeah
<coughs> it's your turn to hit. Go ahead and tap that. Yeah, put all that in. Pull that in. Whoa, whoa, easy, 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 easy. You good? You good? All right. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yes, sir. I'm still wondering, like, in 20 years from now, or 30 years from now, will I still be smoking weed? It might be a possibility, but I don't know. I feel like at some point in time, I might outgrow it. It's not like I want to, but I feel like it's going to happen. But then again, I don't know. So I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of bummed out right now because I didn't want to eat donuts like for a mukbang. I really wanted to like cook. I was thinking about cooking some chicken with some rice and then just like frying the rice and then just eating that. But... I just couldn't get to the grocery store in time. I couldn't buy some chicken like how I want it. So got to eat some sad donuts, bro. See, listen, it wouldn't be that bad, but it's like I work here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I eat donuts like every day. It's like coming home and eating a microwavable dish like every single day. Like it's boring. Not even going to front. I know my donuts look trash. They don't even look appealing, but... The munchies going crazy. So I'm gonna go crazy on these, yo. The minis have always been my favorite. I'm gonna eat one more strawberry. The donuts are good, but it's just the overload of sweetness. You got all the sugar from the glaze and then you got the sugar from the strawberry cream and then you got the sugar from the sprinkles it's like gosh you know like it's just an overdose of sugar bro it's crazy moving on to the birthday cake the cake batter one i honestly don't like filling donuts i just don't like donuts that got like a bunch of cream in it I didn't barely put filling in that. It's kind of good for me though. Ugh. Ugh. There it is. See all that filling right there? That just ain't for me, bro. It just ain't for me. Like, it's the same thing with orange juice. If my orange juice has pulp in it, I'm not drinking it. The cream is good, though. Like, the yellow icing with the confetti sprinkles. But they need to put that, like, on a regular donut. Like, they should put it on a donut like this. And just have the yellow icing with the confetti sprinkles. I'm on the last donut. Got that chocolate glaze. Now listen, like, I'm a fan of these type of donuts, but for some reason, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like Dunkin' Donuts chocolate, like, donuts, I feel like they're way better than Krispy Kreme. I'm not even gonna lie. For some reason, like, I just... I hate our chocolate and that's the thing like i literally make it from scratch so there's been times where other people have made it and i know it's been bad but there's been times where i make it and i literally follow like the ingredients like right down to the exact numbers and it's still like it just tastes as funny so i don't know but we finna see no cap bro <laughs> i can't even finish it like like i said like i just i don't know what it is but just chocolate ice donuts like it just it don't do the job for me bro honestly i guess this is just the disadvantages of working at Krispy Kreme, bro 
Too many donuts. I've been donut overdose, bro. No count. Listen, man. All 2023, I'm making a promise like I'm going crazy with YouTube, bro. Listen, I've been BSing for too long. I see the potential that I have. Like, I just can't get over the fact that I still have 300 subscribers. Like, that thing is crazy, bro. But I just want to say right now, I'm finna go crazy. I'm talking about, I'm finna post a short, like, six days every week. Like, I'm post a short, like, probably six days out the week. And I'm gonna try to post a video, like, three days out the week. Try to make, like, three videos every week for this channel. But other than that, I appreciate each and every one of y'all that have subscribed to me. And y'all love my content. Y'all love what I'm trying to do with this channel. I know I'm like real small, but I'm just trying to grow. I'm trying to get to the next level, bro. And I'm telling y'all sooner or later, no cap, we gonna hit 1,000 subscribers, bro. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen this year. No cap. I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. We gonna make it happen. I promise y'all, y'all be easy.